Alcohol is such a dangerous drug. Already, 7% of UK adults are showing signs of dependency, and in less than a decade, the number of us going to hospital because of drink has gone up 70%. So should we even drink at all? A colleague of mine has come up with a seriously radical idea. He wants to eliminate alcohol, to design an alternative drug, one that you could simply add to a soft drink. But the difference is it would not be addictive. It would not harm your brain or your body. You'd get all the benefits of drink without the danger. If his drug works, ideally the next generation of children will never even touch alcohol. He's in the research stage and I'm going to be part of the experiment. David, I've sometimes heard it said that alcohol is so damn dangerous mm. that if it was discovered today, mm -hmm. it'd be banned. Oh, that's undoubtedly the case. I mean, we ha are currently banning drugs that are very similar to alcohol, like GHB, GBL, 1,4-butane diol. These are all alcohol equivalent sedating drugs, which are very dangerous in overdose. And those, are, those are banned or being banned, and I, I have no doubt if alcohol was discovered today, it would be controlled under the Misuse of Drugs Act. If I'm going to take this similar but not mm. identical compound, mm. what, what am I going to experience? Well, I, I'm not going to give you any sort of suggestions. What I want you to do is I want you to see how you feel on, okay. on the drug, and then I want you to reflect during the process and afterwards how it compares with alcohol. Walk as straight as you can. The drug was likely to make me feel tipsy, so before I even took the pill, they had to check my normal balance. It was at this point that the enormity of what I was doing hit home. That's great. As I start to think about whether this is going to work or not, I'm left with a sense that actually it could be quite a powerful effect. And maybe it'll give me some effects that I don't like. And so that I'm a bit, a bit now that I think about it, I'm a more apprehensive subject than I was a few minutes ago. This was a highly experimental drug. Only a few people had ever tried it. And the condition was that I was in a hospital, closely observed, with resuscitation equipment on hand. Yeah, perfect. All right. Would you take each of these now, please? OK. So down the hatch? Down the hatch. OK. The drug would target some of the same receptors in my brain that alcohol does, mm -hmm. but I didn't know which ones. Thank you. So I just um, sit back and... You sit back and do whatever you do if, if you were drinking, yes. Hmm. Don't know if you want to share that with us. <laughs> I can definitely feel something. And what I'm feeling is uh, relaxed. There's beginning to be a slight tendency to want to smile, which I'm so, for some reason controlling at the moment. Um, but I'm beginning to feel a little lighter. And my mood is definitely um, much, much higher than it was this morning. Arrived a bit stressed, a long journey, and it's rather nice now. Oh, there was a smile. <laughs> a short while later, I made a surprising judgment. If I compare this feeling to alcohol, and it's quite hard to do, I'd have to say that I'd vote for the three pills from Dr. Nup. Um, there's something more um, smooth and pleasurable and just relaxing and... Yeah, just nice. 